what is up you guys today I am going to be showing you Myla's hair routine as you can see she is already not excited she is not a fan of getting her hair done we're working on it for sure <laughs> but for the most part she did pretty good in this video so I'm very proud of her so right now I'm just pulling out her curls we just got back from the beach so she has a lot of tangles and probably sand and chlorine and a lot of different things in her hair that I want to make sure I get rid of so after I have finished stretching out the curls that she has I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in her hair just to go ahead and make sure it's nice and wet when I put the shampoo in so that I can get a nice lather. The brush that you see me using is the same brush that I showed at the beginning of the video. This is my lifesaver. It is a wet brush and it's very ideal for textured hair, curly hair, little kid hair, kids who are tender headed and do not like the detangling process. It's very easy and it just makes your life a lot easier when it comes to doing your kids hair. So I started that motion from the ends and working my way up. Once I have it all nice and detangled, I comb the rest of the hair. I'm gonna go ahead and start her shampoo. I'm gonna be using Super Skinny by Paul Mitchell. Her hair tends to frizz up no matter what I do, so I'm gonna go in with this shampoo just to help fight some of that frizziness that she likes to get throughout the day at school. Like I said, she's been at the beach, so I'm gonna have to use a little bit more shampoo than usual. Myla doesn't usually get her hair shampooed. I usually only just do a co-wash, which is just conditioner because she doesn't need her hair shampooed that often. I find a lot of times with younger kids, when you continue to shampoo their hair, you can stunt their hair growth and they need all those good oils that their hair naturally produces. So I allow them to stay on her hair. The only time Myla gets her hair shampooed is if she just has filthy, filthy hair, just had a rough day at school. But I would probably say I've only shampooed Myla's hair probably three or four times since she has been in this world. Now I'm going in with a Just For Me. It's like a detangling cream. It's also a leave-in. So I just go in and I continue to detangle with my fingers. And then I go back in with the wet brush. As you see, she's not a fan. Myla just, she's just not a fan. It doesn't hurt. I know it doesn't hurt. But the thought of me pulling on her hair is just not, it's not her cup of tea. I got this hair bow box from Amazon. I love it so much. These hair bows were nicely put in there at one point, but we have kids, so you know how that goes. Has a nice little compartment for any other brushes or combs I'd like to use. It also has different sectioning parts that you can move around. Look at the cute little baby. Nope, okay. Alright, so now I am going to kind of soak up some of that leave-in that I put in her hair just because I don't want it to be too much because it'll stay wet longer if it's too much in her hair if she was going out to play then I would leave it in there but she's going to bed and I don't want her hair to be too wet for bed so I'm gonna go back in with the wet brush making sure I have all her tangles out so that I can go in and style the way that I would like it Again, she's going to bed, so I'm just showing you guys how I can easily comb through her hair now after all the steps you have seen in the beginning. And it just makes it so much easier to just throw in a cute little style for her. You know, you can make the bows match her little outfits. She kept making me put water on her toothbrush this was literally the only way I could keep her to sit still <laughs> so you gotta do what you gotta do
as you can see with her having naturally curly hair, her shrinkage is also very real. Myla usually doesn't get wet style. She usually just gets the spray bottle in the morning. But like I said, we're detangling, we're cleansing, so it is gonna be wetter now. Her hair tends to be in more of a puff and less of a curl, like you see right here. We're all nicely saturated, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. I can tell that we got a lot of conditioning in her hair. Again, being that she's getting ready to go to sleep, I am not leaving the bows in her hair. I'm actually going to detangle and go in and put some plaits slash braids, whatever you like to call it. That way in the morning her hair is already kind of stretched out even though I don't mind the puff. I love the puff. <laughs> but just for ease of detangling in the morning I find that going ahead and braiding it in a potential style it definitely helps out in the morning with the detangle tears, detangle tantrums, detangle screams. At this point, she is over it, y'all. She's ready to go. And there you go. A nice little bedtime style. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Thank you.